hello to Ms. Hines' sixth grade class in Flagstaff, Arizona. My name is Megan and I'm part of the crew for Desert Rats 2011 and there are four people on my crew. We are living in the deep space hab at this time and we do periodic EVAs as well as science activities here in the dish. Um, you've asked a couple of questions that I'll try to answer for you today. The first one is, how often do we use latitude and longitude with our EVAs and where to set up camp? Well, that's a great question. Of course, we always want to have precise location information on our people when they're out doing EVAs so we can keep track of them. In addition, we can use that information and map it to what kind of samples they took at each location. That helps us understand where the samples came from. So latitude and longitude is very important. And also, when scientists would be planning a mission in advance, they would map out an area that they would like us to go to. They give us those latitude and longitude data so that we go to the right place they want us to sample. That's a great question. The next question is, how important are accurate and precise measurements in your daily tests? Well, I know that you're learning in science that accurate and precise measurements are very important all the time. So that's true here as well. We're taking, um, first we try to give general descriptions of everything that we see, and then we get more accurate with the more instruments that we have available to us. So the idea is that we pick up rocks in the field and then we would bring them back to our deep space habitat and take more and more accurate and precise measurements with the detailed instruments that we have here. Thanks for your questions. You guys are awesome and we hope to see you out here on Community Day on September 11th. Bye-bye.